Only eating street food for a full day in Jerusalem? I was so excited to explore all of the markets here. They have these huge rings of bread. The guy told me they're called Jerusalem bagels. And you guys, they are so freaking soft. And they have this sweet honey sesame seed mixture on top. And oh, the guy also gave me this little pouch of spices to sprinkle on it. And that was a game changer. It's so salty and earthy and had this amazing like fresh oregano flavor. I also had to get one of these giant falafel balls I kept seeing. It was heavy and it had the most amazing crust crunchy crust and it was also stuffed with these delicious grilled onions and seasoned so well like perfectly salty anyway then we did some more exploring i was actually on a crew tour today which was so cool and i kept seeing these shawarma spots of course i had to get some it smelled so good and the pita was so soft and warm and like a little chewy too and oh my gosh the chicken it was so moist and flavorful and like smoky absolutely delicious i also kept seeing fresh fruit juice literally like piles of pomegranates everywhere and you guys there's just something about that tart like slightly bitter flavor of the pomegranate but it's still so sweet and sugary somehow i don't understand but it is so delicious and anyway that's all for today only eating at the best reviewed restaurants for a full day in turkey for breakfast my top reviewed restaurant was this little family-owned shop with five stars and they sell menti which are these little turkish dumplings served in this garlicky yogurt sauce with this amazing like spicy red pepper oil on top and you guys it was so warm and creamy and like spicy and a little sour too and then the beef filling was super juicy and the dumpling dough is so soft then my next stop was the highest rated bakery in the area and look at these gorgeous cakes they also had so many puddings i've never had pudding in turkey so i got this kataifi one and it was a milk pudding so it was like so smooth and soft and it also had these crunchy hazelnuts on top and this like sweet sugary syrup that was drizzled all around the sides but somehow it still wasn't too sweet and i also got this like walnut pie pastry i'm not sure but the crust was so crumbly and buttery and the filling was super sweet kind of like a pecan pie and of course i had to get my favorite turkish cookie they're filled with this thick smooth chocolatey nutella i am obsessed apparently they eat them on birthdays here too and for my last stop i had to walk through this giant marketplace to get to this little shop where they sell these like super popular grilled sandwiches it had this turkish sausage and spicy salami and the bread is made with chickpeas instead of yeast so it has like a thicker texture and because it's all made with beef and lamb it's also like more earthy. I don't know, but it was so good. And that's all for today. What I eat in a day living on a cruise ship. For breakfast, I wanted to try these little foil wrapped cakes that I bought in Greece. This one was covered in crunchy chocolate sprinkles and inside was this really soft cake and sweet cream. And I also got this one that had a thick layer of this really rich chocolate on the outside and then inside was strawberry cream. It was so fruity and really bittersweet. And then for lunch, I went to the pool grill and I got this handcrafted beef burger that had jalapeno cheddar cheese, this really crispy applewood bacon and their house barbecue sauce that's super sweet and the cheese cheese was so spicy and oh my gosh the patty was so juicy and then i got a bunch of cookies because they are so good on this ship this one is packed with chocolate chips and macadamia nuts and it's got this like crunchy crust but i think the peanut butter ones are still my favorite they are so soft and sugary and nutty Ugh, i love peanut butter cookies so much and then for dinner i went to the mess and they had so much variety today i literally wanted to try everything like look at these beef patties they kind of look like pancakes and they were so soft and like buttery i've literally never had had anything like them before because they were still really beefy and like savory so interesting they also had moussaka and oh my gosh the eggplant was so soft and the ground meat was like rich and juicy it was super cheesy too and they also had these like sesame ribs with this sweet glaze and the ribs here always fall off the bone like super tender and anyway that's all for today only eating at bakeries for a full day in Turkey. Today I was in Istanbul and there's literally like three bakeries on every street. So I started off with some baklava. And honestly, I think chocolate baklava might be my favorite kind. It's always so like hazelnutty and rich. I am obsessed. Of course, I got a pistachio one too, which was super flaky, really crunchy and so sweet. And I also saw these pretty purple ones, which are apparently sweetened with fruit extracts. So they've got less sugar and they definitely aren't as like intensely sweet. And then it was off to the next bakery and apparently this little shop on this like side street sells the best cement and oh my gosh it's so like crispy and crunchy on the outside but then super chewy and soft inside and it's got that perfect nutty flavor from the sesame seeds too and then i walked down a street where they were selling all of these pies which are these little like boat shaped flatbreads that are super popular here i've been dying to try one this one had spiced meat and cheese and an egg on top and a lot of butter because it was so rich and the dough was super soft they also had this like turkish red pepper spice 
spice that added a smoky flavor, but honestly, the best part was the dough. It was like perfectly chewy. And after that, I was pretty full, but I had to stop at one last bakery for some burek. I got this one that was stuffed with feta and the filo was somehow like so soft, but still super flaky and buttery. I don't know how they do it. And the feta was really creamy too. And then I saw they had chocolate burek, so I had to try one. It had this like extra sugar coating on the outside. It was so crunchy and chocolatey and that's all for today. Trying every McFlurry flavor in Ashdod. So I tried the pistachio McFlurry in Haifa and it was so good. So I came back to try them all and you can literally order at this mall's front entrance and then just walk around till it's ready. They had a bunch of different flavors and toppings, but I was most excited for this Nutella one, which was literally even better than I could have hoped for. It was so thick and nutty and rich. It just like attacks your mouth with chocolate. I'm obsessed. And I got a bunch of extra toppings. So I decided to add this caramel sauce and that was intense. It was so sugary and like really smooth, but maybe a little too sweet. But anyway, onto the pistachio one, which is so good by itself, but I added Oreos, which gave it that perfect crunch and like a hint of chocolate, which I feel goes so well with the almost like savory pistachio flavor. And I was also so excited for this strawberry jam and peanuts one. Like what an interesting combo, but it really worked. The jam was actually so fruity and chunky and it went really well with the crunchy peanuts. And they have this peanuts and caramel one that I added M&Ms to because like peanut M&Ms are my favorite candy ever. And it went so well with the caramel flavor. I also always love how cold M&Ms get like really crunchy. And finally, I added some Oreos to the Nutella caramel one and it was like a chocolate lover's heaven. And that's all for today only eating mall food for a full day in Turkey. Today, I went to this massive mall where the food court was an entire floor. They had so many options. They literally had four different pide spots. So of course I had to get one. So these are these boat shaped flatbreads that are really popular here. And this one had marinated beef and tomatoes and the crust is so crispy. It also had this delicious minced meat that was seasoned so well. And it's super thin too. So you can eat like the whole thing and not feel stuffed. They also had kanefe, which is one of the best desserts I've ever had. It's this stringy like filo pastry soaked in sugary syrup and filled with this melty cheese and then it's topped with pistachios it is so sweet and rich and soft and crispy it's just perfection and then later i stopped to get some kumpir so these are loaded baked potatoes that you add all these toppings to and they start by mixing the potato up with so much cheese and butter so it gets like really soft and fluffy i added olives and this really thick yogurt and bulgur which gives kind of a nutty flavor it's just like so many textures and flavors together and the best Best part is you can try something new every time. And finally, this place was selling these like kebab wraps. So I got this chicken one with cheddar cheese sauce and I had these really thin crispy fries and potato chips. And you guys, the chicken was so juicy. And anyway, that's all for today. What I eat in a day living on a cruise ship. So I got off the ship pretty early today. We were in Ashdod and I found this amazing bakery. They had all these gorgeous donuts and you could just pack up a box with whatever you want. So for breakfast, I tried this Biscoff cookie butter donut. I forgot how good cookie butter is. It has that spicy like cinnamony flavor and it's kind of caramely too. I also tried this pistachio one that had these yummy white chocolate shavings on top and it was so light and fluffy and honestly not too sweet. And then today I actually went on a crew tour to the Dead Sea. It was like a two hour drive so the kitchen packed us lunches, which was so nice. They made me this like triple decker bacon turkey egg sandwich and it wasn't bad. Like it was definitely a lot of bread, but the bacon was actually really crispy. They also gave me an almond Snickers. I love these so much. I feel like the almonds add like a richer flavor than the peanuts and they're crunchier too. They just have more texture. And then we finally made it to the Dead Sea, which was insane. You literally feel like you're flying. It's so cool. There's also a mud bath and I also met a camel. And after a few hours, I got kind of hungry, but they did have a restaurant so I got this falafel and hummus pita and the pita was so soft and warm and then the hummus was kind of tangy. I don't know, but it had a lot of flavor. But the falafel was the best part. So crunchy and seasoned really well, like nice and salty. And that's all for today. Everything I ate at Starbucks in Turkey. Today I was in Alanya, which is just gorgeous. And I had to go to Starbucks to get some work done. But look at all of the pastries they have here. So of course I got really excited and ordered way too much. But that's okay because, oh my gosh, look at this sandwich. It was stuffed with sun-dried tomatoes, cheddar cheese, and another like really soft cheese. I think maybe it was feta. And oh my gosh, the bread was so fluffy and warm. And I also tried this like stuffed roll that was seriously so soft. It was also filled with cheese and tomatoes. And the bread was a little sweet. 
sweet too. I also got this like heavy cream puff thing that was covered in a really crunchy bittersweet chocolate and the cream was so smooth, so sweet and had this amazing caramel flavor. And just look at this beautiful coffee cake. It had this smooth chocolate vanilla frosting and it was covered in peanuts and the cake was seriously so soft and light and the coffee flavor made it like not too sweet at all. And oh, I also saw that they had sour apple frappuccinos. So of course I had to try one and you guys, this was so sweet, super creamy and it actually tasted exactly like sour apple candy. And even the whipped cream was sour apple flavored. Incredible. And anyway, that's all for today. Everything I ate in Egypt? For lunch, I went to this restaurant with this beautiful, colorful ceiling, and I also met their cat that was gorgeous. So the server said he was bringing me guava juice, and then this milkshake showed up. He said he added vanilla to it, and it was incredible. It had that like acidic, almost savory guava flavor, and it was so frothy and sweet. And I literally only ordered one entree, but they brought me so much stuff. I tried this orzo soup that was really peppery and so flavorful, and the orzo was so freaking soft and like buttery. And oh my gosh, this ajbeladi was so like tender and really hearty. And that wheat flavor is almost like warm. It's super filling. It just makes your tummy happy. And the server told me this fried chicken was the best thing on the menu. It looked more like blackened chicken to me, but oh my gosh, it had the most amazing char and this like perfectly crispy skin, but it was so freaking juicy and tender. And the rice was seasoned so well and was also just so incredibly soft, like melted in my mouth. And then later I found this hawashi that was stuffed with minced meat and it was packed with spices and herbs and the crust was all crispy. He also brought me this mystery green drink that kind of tasted like a melon lemonade. Then on my way back to the ship, I found all these snacks and I thought this chocolate one would be similar to like a soft moon cake, but it was actually more like a biscuit texture. It was really crunchy and buttery and these spicy cheese filled pretzels were actually fire. Like the spice added a really warm flavor and that's all for today. What I eat in a day living on a cruise ship. Today we were in Haifa and we stopped at this restaurant for lunch. I think it's so cool that they read right to left here. And anyway, of course I got some hummus. It had this amazing nutty tahini and these really soft chickpeas. And oh my gosh, the hummus is so creamy and rich. I've literally never had anything like it in the States. We also got this other one that had minced veal and pine nuts and it was really like juicy, super savory. And these are called kube, I believe. They're little like fried balls filled with minced meat and they were so crispy, but also soft at the same time. And just look at this gorgeous shawarma platter. Oh my gosh, the tahini is so creamy. I can't get over it. Also, the veal was really tender and it was seasoned with sumac, which adds like a really tangy, almost sour flavor. But I think this kanafe was my favorite thing all day. It's this crunchy spun pastry soaked in this sweet syrup and then it has cheese in it that's like stretchy and warm and it goes so well with the sweet pastry. And the ice cream was so creamy too. And then I was pretty full from lunch. So for dinner, I had these curry indomie noodles that I got in turkey and i don't know what it is but i feel like indomie noodles are always so soft and like comforting they always hit the spot you know it was a little spicy too and finally i also bought these cheese and onion pringles in the cruise shop and i gotta be honest they were not my favorite they just were like so strong and then my breath stank like all night but oh well and that's all for today